I'm trying to get a cute thumbnail, but can we appreciate this light? Like, imagine if I could do my makeup in this light, but I can't see. Because I feel like blue eyes, you literally, like, you can't see anything. Like, Manny can literally stare into the sun with his brown eyes, but my blue eyes are so sensitive. But I mean, this lighting for the makeup... Today feels like a very good day to do some makeup. I mean, I woke up and my skin is just having a lovely time, so duh. Of course, I'm gonna do some makeup. I'm gonna show you my everyday, just like soft glam, what I do to take Instagram pictures, or what I do if I'm going shopping or anything like that kind of look. I have stopped wearing lashes, which is quite a big deal for me because I am such a lash girl and I mean, I do still occasionally wear them on nights out and stuff. During the day or if I'm going for dinner or if it's just a little bit more chilled out, I've not been wearing lashes and I'm actually loving it. Like I'm loving a little bit more of a pulled back, soft glam kind of look. More of like a model kind of look rather than like a Kardashian kind of look, if that makes any sense. I've definitely taken a lot of Bella Hadid's makeup routine and put it into my own because I always think her makeup looks stunning. I mean, Bella Hadid really is just the goals, isn't she? Like, her wardrobe is ridiculous. Her face is ridiculous. Her body is a joke. Let's not talk about it. Had a facial at clinic yesterday, and honestly, facials make so much difference. Like, now I'm 24, I actually need to start looking after my skin before... I feel like you start aging when you're 25 and I'm <laughs> not ready. I don't know what it is, like my skin's glowing, which means I'm glowing, and when you feel good and look good, you radiate this next level positive energy. So, I mean, already, this video is just so positive. I'm just in such a good mood today. Sorry if we are a little bit dark today. I don't really know what's going on. I'm trying to use natural daylight, but that area is where the sun's hitting not where my makeup setup is which is a bit annoying so this look by no means is like a natural look or like a minimal look it still is quite glam it's just a little bit softer than the makeup looks that i've shown in the past and like i said it's just more wearable for every day it's a little bit quicker than spending forever blending out eyeshadow and stuff and the skin, rather than looking, I mean, it still looks very much like dull skin, but rather than looking like super heavy or like photoshopped, it just kind of looks like skin, but really, really good skin. As always, I'm just going to set that down with some translucent powder. I don't know whether you realise, but I do have really, really discoloured eyelids. Like, they always go really red or really dark, especially when it's the time my time of the month. Not sure why that is, but I've just always had that for some reason. I'm gonna take a really big fluffy brush. No, I did not clean my brushes for this occasion. I should have, but it's not very realistic. I wanna make this as realistic as possible. I'm gonna take my bronzer, which is the MAC Give Me Sun, and I'm gonna apply this in my eyelid. I don't want the brush to be too precise because I just want like a dust of color, if that makes sense. And I always do like using my bronzer because I feel like it just pulls the whole makeup look together. And then I always just wing it out as well just to kind of snatch my eye a little bit more. Why is my phone going off today? I just put it out in the corner and already before I've even done my liner, it's just lifted this eye up a little bit. And then of course I just go back in and blend that with the rest of the lid. So I actually took my tapes out last night and I love that I can wear my hair slick back again because tapes, they can, you can slick it back to a point but not where it literally looks like you're bald like this. And that's how I like to wear my hair, especially when you've got really good makeup on that day. Like I like to, I like everyone's focus on the makeup, you know? But I did vlog the whole thing, like I've been vlogging over the past week for Vlogmas. I'm not doing Vlogmas like uploading every day, but I'm doing it every week. And honestly, I feel like I could definitely be a weekly vlogger, like I'm loving it. Okay, then I'm just gonna take like a really flat shade of brush. Oh my god, that lighting is gorgeous! Go on, love! I'm just gonna take a flat shade of brush and I'm gonna take a brown eyeshadow. This one's from the Soft Glam palette, of course. I'm going to take Cypress Umber, which is this really dark brown shade where you can literally just use anything. So I've taken the shadow and just slightly winged it out. I'm also going to clean it up with a concealer brush. Sorry, this lighting is so bad. I don't know what's going on. Um, in fact, I'm going to clean a little bit of it up now. 
just make it a little bit sharper and then I'm just gonna go like three quarters of the way across my eye so I'm not even gonna go halfway I mean you can go all the way across especially if you're adding lashes but I kind of just like it in the outer corner just to again snatch your eye just give it that little bit of a lift my favourite part of the minute is mascara because I feel like this is where you see it all coming together. This is where you can apply lashes if you want to but I highly recommend just trying mascara because for me it took a while to get used to especially after wearing lashes for so long. But I don't know what it is, it just makes you look younger and fresher and just more naturally pretty, do you know what I mean? This one I'm using is by Lancome. It's so gross, why does my makeup bag look so bad? Um. I'm not overly fussy about mascaras usually, but this one's actually really good. Like, I'll show you this lash now. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I had the lash lift before I went to Ibiza, and oh my gosh, they looked insane, don't get me wrong. Like, they literally looked the best my lashes have ever looked. They looked like this, naturally. Like, I'd wake up and my lashes would look like that. But after a few weeks, I don't know what happened. I even Googled it, and this has happened to other people. But I think because you almost perm them to curl, they dried out so much that they literally broke off. And I had no lashes, which is why I had to go back to... Like, I had a few lashes left, which is why I went back to lash extensions. But I went from my lashes looking like this to being a bald eagle. It was not cute, so... Um, just bear that in mind if you're ever going to get a lash lift. I mean, a lot of my friends have lash lifts all the time and they're fine. So maybe, like, oil them or put Vaseline on them or something. But it really just put me off having the lash lift again because, I mean, for, like, three weeks they looked amazing. But after them three weeks, something happened and it was not good. See, this is where I like the makeup. I mean, my skin's that good that I would probably stop here, but we're not going to. We're gonna, we're gonna do some skin as well. For skin, I said this in my last makeup tutorial, but this is the best primer you will ever use, I promise you. I've had so many people coming up to me, like, Mads, you got me on skin food, and I will never look back, and I promise. Don't know what this does, but it just makes your makeup look so good. It makes it last forever, and it literally just feels like glue when you're putting it on. But I just feel like for every day, it's a little bit too heavy, so I am going to mix it with my MAC Strobe Cream. And this one is the Gold Light Strobe Cream. It's the nicest consistency, but it also has this, like, let me even put it in the light so you can see it properly. It also has, like, this beautiful oh that looks so stunning so i'm literally gonna add like the tiniest amount in with strobe cream that's a really good tip as well if skin food is a little bit heavy for you which it is quite a heavy duty cream mix it with a little bit more of a sheer moisturizer and it's still such a good texture for applying foundation on top of I'm even, after seeing that on my hand in the sunlight, I'm even going to add a little bit of the strobe cream on my body as well. For foundation today, I do mix between two different daytime foundations. So I'll either use the MAC Face and Body or I'll use the NARS Radiant, um, Natural Radiant Foundation. This one, if I'm having a little bit more of a bad skin day. This one, if I'm having a really good skin day like today. So I'm so I'm going to use this one today and I use shade C4 If you're using this foundation always make sure to mix it as well because I remember a time where I didn't like this foundation Because I'd have it sat in my drawer literally go I'll use that today put it on my hand and it'd just be water So make sure you do give it a good mix before you apply it. I'm going to take my morphe m4. What is this m439? and I always work down. I feel like I heard that somewhere and I can't remember where, but it doesn't disturb the face hair if you, like, work it down like that, if that makes sense. I don't know what I'm talking about, by the way. I'm not a makeup artist by any means, but these are just some things that I've learned along the way. But yeah, recently I've definitely been leaning more towards a natural, more, more natural than usual makeup look. 
I was even thinking about when I started my YouTube career and how I used to do like full cut creases and I used to use like basically white concealer. Not good times, I promise you that, they're not good times. I always think, am I going to look at the way I do my makeup now in like 10 years and be like, ew. But the thing is, I feel like the way I'm doing my makeup at the minute is just enhancing what I already have. It's not even doing the most, do you know what I mean? So I don't feel like I would. I'm going to cream bronze today, so I'm going to use the Milk um, Cosmetics Bronzer in Blaze. And I'm just going to take, this is the same brush, but it's not the, it's a different brush, but the same makeup brush, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to start to bronze up my face with this. I do prefer to use a cream bronzer during the day rather than powder, just because I do think it looks a little bit more natural. I have some pesky little flyaways today. Don't know what's going on there. Okay, you already know what it is when it comes to this concealer. This is my new favourite concealer of all time. This is the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer. And let's talk about this product. Like, how Holly did this, I don't know. Because she's literally shit on all the brands that have been going for so long. Like, it's the most unbelievable formula. It lasts for ages. The shade range is incredible. Miss Holly Boone, you really did something. I do have such a big forehead now, but honestly, I don't know what it was. In high school, my forehead used to look bigger than this. Like, no wonder people think I've had this, that, and the other done to my face, because naturally, as I've grown up, my face shape has changed so much. Like, when sure, if you're like 18 now, I promise you, even if you have nothing done to your face ever, your face shape will change so much. Like, if I show you pictures of when I was 18, different person, but not because of filler necessarily. My whole face shape has changed, like my nose has gone smaller, I swear. My forehead's gone smaller. I mean, I remember when me and Manny dated in high school and he always used to take the mick because my forehead was so big. <laughs> he always used to call me clefty because I had like a bum chin, which is where I have filler now. I used to have a bum chin and I used to have a huge forehead, like bigger than this now. Oh, high school was rough. <laughs> and then I'm just going to use my Hourglass translucent powder. And someone asked me if this is better than the YSL one, which I always rave about. And I'd probably say it's just as good. I would usually use my YSL powder, but it's sold out everywhere. I think Kim Kardashian or someone like that probably raved about it and now it's sold out everywhere. So thank you for that. Um, I'm going to use a different beauty blender to set this down. I do really like to use my beauty blender puff thing um but this is more if i want like a heavier makeup look whereas if i want to go more natural i just feel like using a damp sponge is better it doesn't have to be a beauty blender it can literally just be any sort of damp sponge and then for the rest of my face which i do need to set the rest of my face i wish i could leave it like this but it would be off within two minutes because I'm such like a face toucher. I'm just going to take a big powder brush and just set the rest of it down really lightly. I mean, this powder is really good because it's so finely milled that it doesn't take the glow away. Like, you can still see the glow coming through, but it just doesn't make it as, like, wet. Okay, I'm going to go over with... Oh my god, this lighting so much better now the sun's gone away. Thank you. <laughs> this is the lighting we've been waiting for. Um, I'm going to take the bronzer that we used on the eyes, the MAC Give Me Sun. Like I said, this is like the best bronzer for me of all time. And I'm just going to really lightly go over where we cream bronzed just to set that in place. I'm doing this so lightly. It's just to bring that little bit of colour back found a new blusher that I really like for during the day. This one is the Illamasqua Powder Blusher in Lover. And I love the colour of this. It's like a pinky peachy colour and I just really enjoy this colour for during the day. I just think it's such a pretty flush of colour. I apply this quite high on my cheekbones as well because I love the way it kind of structures my face. I'm also going to contour my nose using the Hoola Bronzer. I literally have been contouring my nose every single time I do my makeup since I was about 
19 probably because i just think it gets my nose because it's quite wide it gets lost when i put foundation on so this just brings a little bit more dimension back into my nose um and sometimes even if i'm not wearing makeup i'll go over the center of my nose with some highlighter anyway just because i don't know i do have quite a wide nose so i just like to add a little bit of highlighter so when the light catches it it just kind of slims it down a little bit more See what I mean? Like the difference nose contouring makes, especially on pictures, is a joke. I think I'm going to add, I don't always do this, but I kind of, because we're going with the glowy skin today, I'm just going to add a little bit of highlighter onto my face as well. I always pick between two little beauty spots that you probably can't see now that on my face. And I always colour over one, but I think I'm going to do, <laughs> so sad, I'm going to do this one today. Then I'm going to use a brown liner. This one's just by L'Oreal. Um, and I'm just going to line my waterline. You can totally miss this step out if you don't want to do it. But I just think it makes your eyes look so much sexier. Also, you guys are the goat. Because in my last makeup look, I was saying I couldn't find Sweet Tea Lip Liner anywhere. And so many of you was like, Mads, it's on ASOS, Mads, it's been restocked in the Arndale. I literally had over 100 messages easily, so thank you so much. Like, you guys really are the OGs. You're the best. I am going to use a different one today, though. I'm going to use the MAC Whirl, and this one's just a little bit more pinky. It's a little bit more natural. Um, kind of like a lip colour, but a little bit darker, if that makes sense. And I always overline the center of my lips and then i stay true to my lip shape at the bottom i've just started doing this and i just think it's so much prettier so i overline this bit and then connect it to my natural lip line and then the same on the bottom so i'll always overline the center of the bottom And then I'm going to use MAC Yash, just in the centre. So this is my soft glam everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm also planning on filming my full like get ready with me for a night out. So I'm going to do my tan, I'm going to do my hair, I'm going to show you what I do in the shower, I'm going to show you if I have a snack or anything, my pre-drinking game. Um, I'm going to do like just a full get ready with me for next Thursday. So I mean we've got loads of Christmas parties coming up, we've got New Year's coming up, we've got Christmas coming up. So I just think it's the perfect time to film a full routine and we can get ready together yeah thank you guys for watching i love you all so much and i'll hopefully see you in the next video